Hi, I'm Lisa Scottolini, and I believe a good audiobook speaks volumes. One of my favorite places to listen to an audiobook is when I garden. I have it on my smartphone, I have my little earbud in, and it's really wonderful to be told a story while you're doing a task that can be somewhat tedious. I love the authenticity of voice, and I love hearing a great story when I garden. Another place I love to listen to an audiobook is when I walk the dogs, because I have four dogs and they seem to have to be walked a lot. And so it's really pleasant just to be outside and sort of get lost in this story. You know, I think when someone, you listen to an audiobook and when someone is reading you a story and performing a story for you, it can be profoundly kind of a centering experience. And when I think about one that had the most really significant impact on me, let's put it that way. It was one of Frank McCourt's. Um, not only Angela's Ashes, but also Tiz. It was really the perfect kind of book to get in an audiobook because you hear him tell the story of his impoverished Irish childhood, but he transcends it and he overcomes it. And he has a wonderful accent that lends so much authenticity and really fleshed out the story and made it come to life just by use of his voice. To me, that's when I started to really get addicted to audiobooks and see how much value they had on their own merits simply because somebody was telling me that story. It affects me to read my own work as I do with my nonfiction books because I have learned to get to the point a little bit better. When you're writing, especially a thriller, and I write fiction thrillers, they have to move really fast. You've got to get right into the paragraph and get right into the meat of the story, the conflict, the characters, the dialogue has to count, everything has to work together seamlessly, but the truth is it has to be quick. And that's what you get, it's an oral sense that you develop only by hearing, and you hear that in the best audiobooks. I actually read every word of my books aloud while I'm writing them. And I think that is the best way to make writing flow smoothly and a story flow smoothly. So the ultimate test of a novel is if it flows really well. And that means that when you hear an audiobook of one of my books, you're hearing it for the second time because I did the first time in the privacy of this house. When you're really galvanized by an audiobook and you're really being told a story and you're being attentive to it, that's because the pacing is done right. And I feel as if, that, frankly, my novels have gotten better because I listen to audiobooks. Are you a listener? Share why you hashtag love audiobooks.